And then there were five. Welcome everyone to Metroid Dread. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Niskull. It's back from the dead. Oh. It's no longer Metroid Dead, it's Metroid Dread. I just love looking at that, that it's actually here. It's real. It wasn't for so long, and now it's 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 real. This is the whole reason we started this whole retrospective to begin with. And now it's all led up to this. I do kind of like how the dread font looks like it was stabbed earlier. <laughs> yeah. It came back to life. Well. After 15 years. Let's not waste any time. Let's get on to it. Ah! I've been uh, playing a lot, as, as you can You're see. You're showing off too much. At, uh, may maybe a little, maybe a little. Kill but it. I'll just uh, get, get rid of, uh, just delete that. I would kind of love it if you actually edited in a black bar just so nobody could see the final stats. <laughs> well, this is, uh, that's what we're going for. 15 power bombs, 285 oh, missiles. Oh, come and on, don't give it away. <laughs> Not even I knew that. Well, now you do, because we're getting 100% items this run through. So, uh, be ready. Let's go. <laughs> we're also doing it on hard mode. For expert players, for expert good luck. players. I'm an expert player, and I think you are too. So every time one of us dies, we will swap the, con the controller back. There's a lot of really interesting details in Metroid Dread I really want to go through, but first, Metroid. A virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them had been, had been eliminated. They are now extinct. No. The X-Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388, it could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it, it's b bad stuff. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. We shot them all in the face. And this is me. I bet you're wondering how I got in this situation. I got infected by orange marmalade, and it just went downhill from there. It's so sugary. Yeah, Go goopy. No Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set up on the planet, got infected, and almost died. To make matters worse, they had to use old graphics. Love that 8 bit Metroid there, and then I turned into whatever the hell this is. Ah, <clears throat> oh man, it got all over my suit. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created for the Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. So nothing else in the universe can stop these things but her. And then, oh, what a great time and we had there. <laughs> yeah. Hi. We just killed you. Yeah, we did. And blew and the then hell blew it up. up. <laughs> Can't leave a place without blowing it to hell. Eventually eliminated all the X-Menace from SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. So it blew the fuck up. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. No. Uh, no! God! One of them escaped. Uh, it showed an X alive, alive and, and in, in the, the wild. wild. Their analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. <laughs> Some guy in the Federation opens up a link and it's just a rickroll. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> damn. No, no, here's the real one. We're all doomed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding with you, man. It was called ZDR. If the exits somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The, the Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven Emmy to investigate. Because they're still kind of mad at Samus Aaron right now. So they sent robots to do a human's job. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, they have no biomasses they can be infected with, so makes sense. An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission's success. But then all communication was lost as soon as they landed! Great success. Nope. As usual, I have to fix the folly of humans. In a nice new slim suit, look at that. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. Well, let's go there and find out. She goes down there and the entire planet's infected with memes. <laughs> because the planet was, uh, it was, you know, there's nothing on it, so it's, it's free real estate. Hmm. 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 I'm mm -hmm. sorry. By the way, the only reason they gave us this recap was, one, set up dread, and two, 
Give us a, a little reminder of what happened at the end of Metroid Fusion. It has been 19 years, after all. Oh, 19. I was four off. I mean, Dread's probably been in development for like 15 years on and off. Because they, you know, did, they did Fusion, and then Prime, and then Prime, and then Zero Mission, but and then Prime But it's 19 two. years since the actual Metroid Fusion. Yes. <laughs> Holy Jesus. But, no! now but now it's all pretty, and it's on Switch. Who said that? I think she said that. It's either that or her ship can talk. Yeah, but not like that, I don't think. This mission does not seem appropriate. Don't worry about Shut that. Up. <laughs> Let me do my job, okay? Yeah, well, if we don't take care of this, there won't be any rewards ever because everybody will be fucking dead, okay? Ooh. Yeah, it was weird. I had to, like, name my profile account Lady for it to work, but it helps me, okay? One last kick in the balls by Adam. Metaphorically speaking, of course. I like their cool ship, though, you know. Mm-hmm. Nice new suit, updated visor, so we can actually see through it and see her emotions. And then the ship crashed. Oh, cool. well, well, uh, that didn't go so well, did it? Hmm. Oh, I was on my ship. What happened? Now I'm all blue again, and I'm like, ah, we can make it somehow. What the fuck? Um. God, that those look like muscle tendons. They do. Hmm. All right, let's think. Where did I... I'm in a Metroid game, so something... Oh. Let's see, how did I get my ass kicked again? Let me remember. That's fine. You know, I'll, I'll go without communicating with you for a while, Adam. Let me just uh, turn the switch off in my head. There we go. Nice and quiet. So what do you think is happening with her suit right now? Well, right now it's in a lovely shade of white. I'm thinking the white is basically, you know, healing. It's it's kind of like, you know, some dead skin fell off as the power suit kind of heals itself, it being so bio, like, bio-connected to her. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, okay, it's gonna talk, that's all. Oh, shit, yeah, whoa. This is how we say hello in my country. Country planet. Fortunately, I have all my power ups from the previous time we. Wait, no, I don't. Shit. It all goes wrong. Please? Uh, oh, oh, oh no. Shit, whoa. Oh, it's back. That's a good indicator of what you get to work with in this game. The melee counter. Ah! Okay, okay, okay! I'll fix it, I'll fix it! Hey, uh, what if we talk this over and, uh... Okay, um... I have a strange feeling you like lollipops. Y you know, I, I, got, I got a whole crate of them back on the ship, just, just you gotta let me go, I gotta Please, go get them, okay? Please, I'll give you five! I got, I got cherry, I got strawberry, I got orange, I got all the flavors that you could want, I got! And then she turned into a supernova. And then woke up with muscle tendons. Well, oh, shit. <laughs> That is such a look. Ah, shit. Well, another Metroid game. We're back down to square one. And now we're playing in first person. Enjoy Metroid Prime mode. Ooh. Oh, if only. Don't get my hopes up. Because I don't know if they're going to do DLC for this or not, because if so, we're going to have to do that, too. I'm down. All right. So here we are. Metroid Dread. Oh, it's so buttery smooth. The animation's so great. And oh, it feels just so wonderful. And you got all this. And you got... It's just like Samus Returns, except it, it feels a lot better because I'm using a Pro Controller. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yes. So the mechanics oh. that were introduced in Samus Returns are back. Like the uh, the counter that is in this game. You can free shoot everywhere, except I believe you can just use the other stick? No. Oh, uh, sorry. Hold down button, then aim. Good stuff. Right stick does nothing, though. Okay, right stick does nothing. There's a lot of really great animations here. Like, uh, you can see here that uh, she can't really get past the edge. What happens if you push her off? You can just She just falls off, but, uh, yeah. But uh, in other Metroid games, you can, like, have that that uh, left foot there hanging over the edge. But here, just, oh, nope, nope, can't do that. Huh? Nope. 
Also, uh, that little ledge, she just climbs up naturally. I don't think you have to push a button. Nope, just, just, whoop. It's, it's so, it's, it's a, so fluid smooth, it's incredible. It's a speed game. Not to mention, and the, the environment backgrounds here. Mike, look at this, this looks amazing. I think we should keep going. We're not worrying about speed here, because I've already got all the endings, so this is just a, a, a play for fun type, type of deal. I like fun. I like fun. Because that's what Metroid's supposed to be. Fun. No more of this, uh, time constraints and all that. Just, just, let's get 100%, let's have fun doing it. Here's another, uh, thing that Dread adds. the slide function. It. This is one of the best things ever made. I know, I love it. You can't go back to any other Metroid after playing Dread just because of that. Y y you really can't. Can't go through here because we need a, we need a charge beam for that. If you played Samus Returns, you know, a lot of familiar things come back. Like the Metroid, like the melee counter, of course. Feels nice. Another vast improvement from, let's say Samus Returns, because that was the last one that was released. Yeah. A lot more variety in your enemies. Definitely, yes. That was a problem in Samus Returns. There was only like two kinds. Oh, hey, it's the beetle from Area 1, except tougher. It's blue now, and it's faster. It's blue and hurdy. Uh-oh. And here's some of my favorite parts. I love this song that plays in the background. One of the things I love about Metro is just how cool everything looks. Uploading data. This whole nav room just looks incredible. So you've accessed the network station. Well done, Sam. Is that what this is called? I just called a nav room. Vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. You got your ass handed to you, did not you? <laughs> Adam, stop I bringing that up. Consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. I'm a real girl now. Did, oh, did I get made more human? God damn it. You might call it physical amnesia. Physical amnesia. We also call it a Metroid game. So if I hit you in the arm really hard, your brain will forget your hand exists? I mean, I'm not gonna let you try it, otherwise you won't have a player too. Well, that's that's true. I mean, I need you to remember your your arm. Try your leg, you know, hit you in the knee. And no. By the way, this is probably the best you could do for a visual representation of Adam. Definitely. Besides, you know, the AI just, like, blinking and whatnot. It could be clippy. <laughs> no! <laughs> Samus, change me back now. <laughs> this is for talking too much on our way here. This is basically uh, getting you up to speed on what your physical makeup is like, because uh, you're, you're basically the last Metroid, so you're really, res you're really uh, adverse to cold and hot. Correct, and as he mentions, you need your power suit in order to go into cold areas. Mm -hmm. So you still have that ice weakness. And that's a, also a good indicator on where you're supposed to go next. Every time you find a new nav room, always ask Adam. He'll have something to tell you. Part of the great thing about this game is that it kind of leads you into the critical path on its own. There's a couple of deviations here and there that was very mean. But, uh, t for the most part, it's- it's very basic. It's, oh. it's, it's very smooth. Everything's just so smooth about this. This is basically showing up the melee counter. Beautiful. Now, funny thing about that. Uh, before they added the most recent patch of Dread, that cutscene triggered going through walls and early screw attack. <laughs> it was awesome. Basically, you recycle that cutscene multiple times over and do basically a memory overload and then that cutscene freezes, you go find the screw attack while in a weird camera angle, and then, boom, you get it. it I'm, I'm surprised how much uh, sequence breaking there is. They patched a few things, mainly just to put everyone on e equal playing ground. For stability's sake, probably. Yeah. And, uh, but there are still some, like, really good skips. I believe uh, a couple speedrunners have already found a way to not have to fight a single Emmy. So, uh, the way the map works this is that you can see it's actually the shape of the room instead of just, you know, squares upon squares. And, uh, instead of having the, you know, uh, circle dot thing, where a circle is where you have an item and dots where you've already got it, here, they got just this vague, there's an item somewhere in this area. Don't know what it could be, oh, but it's, it's just okay. somewhere in here. Oh, it's probably this. Oh! There you go. First missile tank. And of course, oh, uh, well, <laughs> it will show you that you've gotten this there and that you have acquired it. 
Thank you. 3% of the items already in, in this area. That's it. Just in Arteria. In the global map. <sighs> got a lot more than that. Hi, ship. We got we gotta get all the way up there somehow. Oh, 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 okay. And now we come to the main attraction. Eh? Something's there. Oh. Oh hi. Hello. He looks a little worse for wear. Uh we uh Can I help you? You want a lollipop? Got them back on my ship. Uh-oh. So whatever you get to grab by these, they have a, like a 99.9% .9 effective way to kill you, unless you hit, you hit X at the right time. That's your freebie, then you just slide underneath them, there you go. I never slid underneath them! Oh! Oops. <laughs> That's my bad. Wall kicking is so much easier to do now, you can just do it. You don't need to do any kind of weird, you know, positioning or whatever. And don't panic, it can't get you. This is the easy one to show you how things work, because every Emmy encounter is going to work this way. He's going to come at you no matter what, that's for sure. I probably just fucked yeah, myself, Yeah, you just screwed I? yourself. And Jump I... it! Okay, good. We're good. It's, it's all good. I'm good at this game. <laughs> I can't wait. Why are you laughing? Uh, Did you beat hard mode yet? Well, no. I'm not good at this game. Hmm, this thing's already down. I wonder Whatever if I can it just... It kind of looks mother brainy, doesn't it? Talk to the hand. Ah, you said good words. Okay. Uh, I like this mechanic. Kinda. So to defeat the enemy, we need to up our power. We have the Omega Cannon. Omega Blaster So you go online. into aim mode and it takes kind of behind the, sh behind the shoulder thing. And then you just hold R. And... Charge up and... <laughs> come... Oops, I'm supposed to press oh, sorry. One. sorry. And... I think it's like a charge and release. And charge charge and... Bluey! You had to blue ball me, didn't you? Fire! Fire! There we go. <laughs> I had to keep... I, had, I just keep you anticipated. So, that other enemy is around here somewhere. Yep, there. Oh, hey! Oh, there you are. There you okay, are. we go over here and get some, get some time. You need time to charge up. And, and when it does, it's kind of right towards you. Aim right in the face and boom! <laughs> That was your first Emmy. Every Emmy after that is going to be way, 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 way harder than that. Also, the Omega Cannon is temporary. It's See, basically, hey, you found a way to kill the area boss. It's it's like that brain thing and the Emmy are linked somewhat. And uh, when you sever both of them, the Omega Cannon goes off with it. Yeah, it's just... That's just mechanics. All right, so that was only just a roundabout way to get us over here. To get us to the opposite door. Oh, save room. Right in that room. Oh, it's save room, actually. Just a regular, regular old save room. Now, check this out. And... Save. Okay, we're good. Excellent. Go a little further. I don't think we can get that oh, just I, yet. Oh, there... I think there is a way. I just can't remember. Oh, yeah, I think you basically jump into the ceiling. And missile it. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do, do it legitimately. That's okay. If we figure out Can't tricks, we'll, we'll we do them. Slide under here, though. Ooh. Pop up here. Yeah, we can Can't do... jump up there because water is water, and Except... water does what it's supposed to do. But we can shoot this down here and. Oh, it actually flows. Look at it. Check it out. We invented water physics. And now, oh, great. All right. Well, let's go. You'll learn to fear these rooms. Because something's going on. People call this really scary, but you know, I'm I'm always fine with these. The main thing for me is just the uh, the music that plays, and the fact that it's all drowned out of color. I think that actually helps with the atmosphere. How most Emmy zones work is that they'll take you one place, then you pop out here, do some stuff over there, and you come through here, and then up there, and just kind of go through here. Then when you got everything, then you come through, take that out. Then you kill the Emmy, and the Emmy gives you something. So for now, we'll just uh, see how far we can go. While it's avoiding the Emmy like the plague. Essentially, you are navigating their room to find cool stuff. So you're playing with danger. Oh, uh, hello! Hi! I'm hello! I'm from the trailer! 
Attack it! Hi. Damn, that is strong stuff. State of the art armor. Oh, it's not even. Tank. It's not bionic in any way, so nothing will hurt. It has no nerve endings. Run, 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 run! Yeah! Uh, it's coming. It's coming! No! It's a good thing it's like one inch taller than it needs to be. Well, it knows that we're here, so uh, we need to just keep, keep it away going. from it. Keep it going. <laughs> keep All it right. going. Just keep it running. It is chasing this you. Way. It is. It is it definitely is chasing, chasing you. Just keep it going. Keep it running. I would like to sell you Girl Scout oh, cookies. Phew. All right, we're good. Except you're drowning now. So that's like I can't. Do it. I just imagine if Samus couldn't. Breathe. Ha 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 Oh, it was just being a slug. Could, you... could go through here, but oh, it's uh, motion sensitive. Ah, right. So I can't go through there. I think I know where we're getting next. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Uh, 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 Damn it, you're going to make me play this again, aren't you? Got a missile tank. Damn it, we're having fun. I know, right? <laughs> this is my favorite Metroid so far. So far, you think we're getting another one? Well, we got Prime 4 coming. See you in 20 years. We got Prime... We got uh, Metroid 6 when that comes out eventually. Okay, I think we need to have a talk. Um. <laughs> oh no! The unstoppable robots have been hacked? What were the odds? It's like, oh, oh, oh yeah, well, they're, they're uh, immune to X, but... Oh wait, they're running Windows XP. Shit. Shit. Come on, I thought you guys upgraded! And this is why we can turn Adam into Clippy. At least Windows 7 is like, whoa, it goes up to 7 now? Oh my god, I'm simply using 3.1. This is the explanation that Emmys will always be hunting you if you make too much noise or if you go into their vision cone. Sometimes they actively hunt you. Basically, you run away from it, hide, and then the exits will open and the Emmy will stop. An Emmy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that That's good to know. They will never leave their control zone. I'm like, oh, thank God, I thought it was going to be scary. Can you imagine if hard mode... If hard mode actually had them leave their rooms and they were just everywhere? I'm, I'm waiting for it. Yeah, 90% probability of death if an enemy captures you. Like, if it captures you, you got one you got one shot, maybe two, and then if you don't get it, that's then you're it. Then you're gone. Yeah, I've seen people bully the enemy. They, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the timing is randomized, too, so you gotta get lucky. That's where the 99% comes from. Mm -hmm. I took a screen cap of that because I love that line. <laughs> Just survive. All right, we'll do. Next time on Metroid Dread, we're gonna see how far we will survive. <laughs> Metroid survive. <laughs> the zombie one. Well, that's Metroid Six. I mean, it's got VI in it right there. <laughs> Outstanding. Oh, they're gonna pull a Resident Evil. I, I swear, they will. <laughs> Metroid Village. <laughs> <laughs> it's a village full of Metroid and X. Oh no! Oh, the X infected the werewolves. Ah! <laughs>